Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today it is time to look at the expected value of outsiders. Yet another chance to see if there is a set where the expected value goes up. And with outsiders, not much being opened, I guess. But uh, cards like Codex of Frailty, Down and Dirty, Give and Take, Premeditate, there's a lot of good cards. Uh, a lot of good Majestics, which um, people really, really need for playing. Um, and yeah, well, there's some interesting things going on. First, there's 295 boxes, but those are different languages as well. Because this set, yeah, it came out in five languages. Um, 295 now, 280 last time we checked. But on the other hand, the price back then was 65 for one box shipped. The price now is 72 for one box shipped. So that has been going up in price a lot. Let's look at the value of the cards. If you open one box, you will get some, well, short printed Majestics. There is some 25%, some 50% short printed ones, cold foil commons, rare, rainbow foils, all worth less than a euro. And the cold foil legendaries on average also are worth just 196. The favorite rainbow foil dropped to an all time low. It's now 233 per box. But if we go on to the next, let's call it the next tier, the next more expensive cards, the Cold Foil Fabled also went down in price. But there we have it, the Majestic Cold Foils. Those went up just a bit. I mean, yeah, compared to what it was. Yeah, it's not high, the price, 296. But yeah, we have these Marvels for 390, also all time low. So it looks like the expected value um, dropped yet again. Outsiders was, was dropping a lot, but but wait, <laughs> there's more. Yeah, legendary cold foil. Uh, the other ones were the extended arts, right? Yeah, yeah, legendary EA. So, but these normal legendary extended uh, cold foils. I'm sorry, those. Uh, kept their price they went stable there are 297 and then you can get legendary rainbow foils on average per box those at 464 in value that also lowest lowest we've seen but the two important numbers are majestic rainbow foils back to 678 and majestic non foils 1629 so Last time we've seen that high of a price was in June. And well, yeah, keep in mind, it's um, you get so many Majestics compared to, I don't know, Fabled, Legendaries, Marvels. This is really what drives the value. I haven't, I have not switched any other variables, no odds of pulling, nothing. I'll just go with card market low prices and those 1629 yeah that that pretty much seems like an average price during the whole life cycle of this product right so expected value for this box yeah it went up it's now at 4560 well compared to the price you pay when you buy this it's not too much fun opening this if you always keep the numbers in your head but this is the first time since back here. Uh, that was just that was sideways. Let's let's call it like this. And this was just two days later. So I checked prices on release day. Uh, two days later. Two days later. Two days later. This is why this looks so um, steep. But this was just a week, right? And this is normal. It's typical. So April first, sixth, and then May, June. August, September, November, January. Now, the first uptick, the first time the prices go up. I do call bottom for all these flesh and blood prices because, well, I've said this some videos ago. Um, we've seen Dynasty go up, we've seen Uprising go up, we've seen everything. I mean, come on. How low can they go? It is totally possible that they go lower, but I do call bottom. I am buying 
cards now or I'm trading cards. If you want to get rid of your old flesh and blood cards of your old collection, um, yeah, I'll offer you 55% off card market low. That's what I can pay. Or 80% in car, uh, store credit. Sorry, store credits. That's what I wanted to say. So you can get rid of all your cards and then get what you want in my store. Um, this is a good sign, to be honest. Um, some heavy hitters cards, uh, some heavy cards in here can be used for heavy hitter heroes. So, well, I'm really curious to see. In about two days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on what's next. Dusk till dawn, right? Yeah, that's fun. That's gonna be good. So, um, we are opening more Dynasty on Saturday, and we are opening Dusk till dawn on Sunday live on this channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good time. Good. Bye, guys.